New at 6, the Department of Labor is teaming up with the Alaska Safety Alliance to try to find a solution to filling all those empty positions in the state. Part of the answer, the department tells Georgina Fernandez, is through a cross-industry workforce development plan. Help wanted and hiring now signs have become a common sight seen not just throughout Anchorage, but the entire state. As the state says, there are thousands of jobs needing to be filled. And here in Midtown Anchorage, that need for employees through now hiring signs paints a small picture of what the state is seeing. There's a significant number of jobs available and, and those that number is, is going to increase. To be exact, that's 23,000 positions the Department of Labor tells us needed to be filled as of January. But the thousands of people needed to fill those jobs just aren't there. As our country gets older uh, and more people have, have entered um, retirement. In an attempt to fill those jobs, the department is teaming up with the Alaska Safety Alliance with the help of the Denali Commission to create a workforce development plan. For how we can um, create pipelines for to recruit, educate, and train um, Alaskans to, uh, to meet these occupations that are in high demand. That plan would use feedback from industry leaders who are a part of an advisory council to share the needs they're seeing in their industries. And so we're hopeful that, that the plan can help build consensus. That action, Warner adds, is needed now, especially as the state is expected to create another 5,000 jobs this year. This workforce plan is helping to prepare our state uh, to, to meet those challenges. Now anyone can be part of those advisory councils. You can find the link to apply on our website, alaskasnewsource.com. Georgina Fernandez, Alaska's News Source.